Welcome back to the latest instalment of the extension at 35A. Oh, there we go. Who's turned the lights on? We're almost there. Just a kiss of me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Clean and jerk, was that? Dust? We don't do dust. This one's out of the way there. You got a measurement out from here, this? No, I've done it off the floor because they, they measure parallel off the wall. What do you want to do? Put a doorway in there. Cut to the door. 93 and a half. 91 and 3 quarters CLS. Yeah, less the thickness of the CLS. Have you got your big foliage square or not? No. Nah. Oh, that's not a square, I'm sorry. What are we going to square with a square of the beer? Just assume we have the wall square. What is that? Is that that bit of collated stuff it flies out every time? Yeah. On the nails, yeah. How are we going to finish this? Are we going to keep the inside of the wall, or back side of the wall 600, so you snug bit of work surface in there? Otherwise you're going to end up with a gap down there, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. A couple of these, Steve. You want them? A couple of these, alright. Well, you want to get the head up first, and then... Okay. Cut it in the I was just going to do it minus the thickness of the... the well, you can do, yeah. Thing and then just plus an eighth of an inch, so it's fine. So we could use it as a... 98 and... Three quarters. No, three quarters. There's something drastically wrong with this bit of the room or the house. There's no good I'll glue it together. You're right, that's just no good on the end. Oh, on the end of it. Yeah. It's a straight one. You what? I need to trim it, eh? Gotta come back again. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I also want two packers. I want one three and seven eighths and one. We got your sushi. Just over three and three quarters. It's getting stuck in. Hmm? <clears throat> Making takers guess. Can't believe what a lovely day it's turned out to be. It's just hot, isn't it? And we're indoors. Oh, cheers, yeah. So cool, man. So cool. Mm. That wouldn't be long. We'll be indoors tomorrow as well. Alright. I've done this for years, man. <laughs> We should be 1200, uh, 400 centers from the end of the ball. I've lost my bloody ability to <laughs> use the script level if I ever had it. Well, do you want me to do that bit? What? Do you want me to do some? Because if you try and remove it, you spread it in and it's solvent based and it'll right. be horrible. We get it off with a bit of nitromores. Yeah? I remember nitromores. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Whenever you start a job like this, you find all kinds of little interesting, unexpected things. And what we found here is that the joists are rotten at the end, and the whole floor is dropped down the end by about an inch. So, cut out the bits of rot and put in some damper, of course, there. And now we're just jacking the floor up into its original position with some new bits of tantalised timber to support it so that won't rot again. But we've exposed all the ceilings and um, we're now just waiting for Tim Snow the architect to come along and tell us what size steel beams we're going to put in all over the place. It should come right to your hand, you don't have to move your hand, all right? All right, Just okay. keep your hand exactly still. Hold on. My hand's the wrong way around, Robin, that. Can you twist it around for me? Bloody easy, mate, that is. Bit of a contortionist. You couldn't have a straighter run than that. 
You know that, I know that, but the pipe don't. Alright, got it. Through there, mate. Oh, what happened? It went. Oh, it's in the wrong setting. Okay, I'll loosen it a little bit. I'll tell you, this will be a real feather in my cap, this one. The times when I thought, oh, that'd be okay. Oh. It's not. Close to the past about time and a half then. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that was heavy. wet. Where did you get that? <laughs> Thingy bit. Sammy, I need you off there, mate. Oh. It's uh, like an induction motor, you know, it's got no physical physical um, contact. It's just the magnets that spin round and oh, right. spin. So, of course, it had all this fine dust in it. If the boiler was running while we were doing the job, it filled up and just stops. Oh, and yeah. it's only, you know, you wouldn't, when you look at it, you could blow it off there, but. Like this stuff, look, you get a layer of this on there. Yeah. It's over everything. What you see with this fan is you see that it's blowing out the dust and it's also just spinning round and blowing back in the door. Oh, it's certainly dead. Mm. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's tons of cement. Yeah. All this is so rough. All with the SD afternoon. And this morning. Probably, isn't it? It is, mate. Very difficult house to work out, this one. Because it's a chimney breast upstairs, it's five inches back from there. So it starts there. Yeah. So, the likelihood is it's supported on that breeze block there. This row of bricks that we took out here was doing nothing at all in terms of support. Mm. So, uh, well, it's nothing to do with the alterations you made, is it? Well, some of it. This is all his. This middle bit, which is built under the arch. But this arch is doing a very good job. That, that arch is... That arch is, is that key. arch going to stay there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the arch is the support bit. All the rest of it is just infill, really. Oh, he's oh. built round the arch, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that'll come away quite, see what you mean, quite cleanly, yeah? Yeah. But all, the, all that we've got to do then, you see, this is arch back here. All we've got to do is get something under here, a bit of steel beam under here, and that should support everything. And then I can knock this away, and, uh, and we're through. Mm. So all they see in the end is a double arch. Is a, well, it won't be a double arch, it'll just be wider. Like to there, yeah? Hey? We'll just form the back of that arch. Ah, oh, right. Carry it through. Yeah, yeah. So that it, yeah. it continues, you know, might cast that in actually. I'm, I'm very happy about that in terms of the structural support. I think it's a good one, you know. That looks solid. At one time I was a bit concerned about Because that is staying, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's staying and this is staying. Yeah. That's going to be rebuilt. Out to. That's the side that's of it. Like the bridge. other side. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But a double, double width, because it's got to take a steel. It's a low skill job that one, it's, we could do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't take anything, it's only just building up a brick here, you know. Put a bit of timber in the place. You ready to go to go, Steve? You can't possibly do that on your own, Steve. Yeah, it's cold. Remember putting these in, Robbie? Yeah? Remember putting these in, now we're moving them. Putting what in? These beams. You're in the wrong place. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're moving it. What, has it got to go closer to the building? Or back? Or further away? Well, we need to cast a beam in it all the way along the ground here. So you've got to move it back away from the building? Yeah, it's not a lot. We're going to cast a big beam in here, and it's got to be 450 wide, so we can't get 450 yet, so once we move this over, this will form one side of the building. Yeah. Bit of shattering, he's that's still it. Yeah. He's, got, he's got that end done. 420, what's the width of the wall? 225, is it? Off the centre. It's amazing, yeah. even walking on this, you can feel it moving. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's got a feeling, doesn't it? A bit more. Yeah. 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 Back to back seat. Yeah. Look at that there, yeah. The old part. <laughs> Enough there. Wouldn't we say it's got to be 225? 225. Um, that's hardly anything that's got to go. Yeah. About an inch. Yeah. That'll do. Oh, plus three quarters for the shattering. I thought this was the shattering. Ooh, that's a good three quarters. That's, that's right. 250, that's alright. That's fine, we don't mind the ball. Let's find out what the parallel is there. So that is. 150 from the wall to the top face. I think that'll probably do about right then, mate. Look, you didn't know the trouble with that, been blocks. Yeah. That's it. No oh. Everything's Are you happy, Steve? Building no? inspectors. Yep. yep. The building inspectors, you know, they run the tape over things. And it's the specifications for 450, and we've done it for 425, you know. What would you say if it was 460? Uh, he, he's, happy. he's happy with that, but that's unnecessary comment. <laughs> No, we're, we're, you know, it's good. That's fine. So, we're going to put the foot in there. We've just got to put a nice little sliver in there. We might end up casting that in, that bit. Chucking a bit of concrete in there. Well, mm -hmm. here is the fucking cut all those blocks. You cut the nail slightly on the bottom and just pour concrete. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, it would just keep disappearing, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to do that. I was going to get some of that foam. <laughs> I was going to get some of that foam, mate.
don't forget to subscribe.